already got to a bad start. Well, oh, that didn't show up. Um, good morning. Let me get back on here real quick. Well, I just googling around and checking out various pinball forums, and uh, I discovered this one. Uh, there's a uh, this guy here. Excuse me, SMB hacks. I don't. Kind of a weird name, but he's got this uh, table rating survey, in which it presumably it's got every single table on Pinball Arcade on here. So I thought I'd just go ahead and go ahead and I'll just take the survey. And where you at? But I'm gonna try to go through these fairly quickly. Um. A good chunk of these I haven't even played yet, or I've only played maybe once or twice, so I can't really give much of a strong opinion on it. But here we go. Um, Adam's family. No ball saved, no kickback, and the whole hype and all this stuff is lost on me. I'll give it a three. Alice Garage Band, never played it. Attack from Mars. Um, like the overall theme, gameplay, eh. Um, it's got some fairly weak flippers on it too, so it just kind of keeps me from giving it a higher rating. Uh, Big Hurt, only played it twice. Uh, average. Big Shot, one of my faves. Nine. Doesn't need a ball save, and um, the theme is simple. It's it's a billiards theme, and uh, you just got to take down the drop targets. Black Hole. Uh... It's kind of kind of average. If I can keep the ball out of the lower play field, I'll do all right. But um, if I don't, if I don't, then it, 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 the games don't last long on it. Uh, Black Knight. One of my faves. Been, been in love with that sucker ever since uh, I had it on the PS2. Black Knight 2000. Uh, probably give that a seven. Mm, eh. I like the, I love the cheer. You got kind of a, a cheering section with that game. Uh, Black Rose, all-time faves. So that was love it, love it first play right there. Um, just pretty much nearly everything about it. It's got a ball save, but I don't, I don't know how long it lasts. And most other tables, it has a little, so it's like auto fire, and it has like a little flashing light in there when it's on, and then when it ends, it shuts off. Black Rose doesn't have that, so I don't really know how long it lasts. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'll, I'll give it a give it a five. I have to four player that one, otherwise I don't last long. Games last too short. It's fun as hell if you can get a more than one multi ball on there though, but that's rare. Uh, Cactus Canyon. Average it kind of plays like Medieval Madness, but the flippers the flippers on that sucker are super weak. Uh, Cactus Jacks, another favorite of mine. Give that a nine. Again, it doesn't doesn't really need a doesn't have a ball save. Doesn't really need one. The game's fun without it. Uh, Centaur. Uh, cool theme, but the rest of the table it, gameplay it is. <coughs> uh, Centigrade thirty-seven. Only played it once, but um. I love, I love the light show, though, so I'll give that a 7. Central Park. One of my, one of the big-time faves right there. I'll give that one a 10. You learn how to, you learn how to nudge. You, you learn how to nudge in that game, and it's also the only machine I can think of where sometimes like the ball drain is actually a good thing. That's pretty unique. Uh, championship Pub. Can't stand it. Again, it's meant... It's meant to play like uh the theme is there you know just in an irish an irish pub setting but the gameplay it just i can't stand it the outlays are some of the probably the worst they all ball almost always goes out uh circus voltaire uh give it a five there's a there's a loop behind the ringmaster's head if it goes right to left uh if you don't have the right nudge at the right time it drains every time so, thinking about that, I'll knock it down one. Class of 1812.
plays almost like championship paul but the the theme of the voices and sounds and the music and whatnot is a lot cooler so i'll give that a seven creature from the black lagoon uh not a, i'll give that a give that a three ball save is only like five seconds on it but uh in the the whole table layout it's like a it's like an abstract artist tried building a parking garage. It's too big of a mess. You know, in order in order to get one shot, you have to like you have to hold to hell. You don't hit anything else along the way. It's hard, but not in a good way. Uh, cue ball wizard played a fair amount of times. The theme don't interest me much, and the gameplay isn't that great. Cyclone. Uh, it's probably gonna be a tough one. I'll give that one an eight. Love the theme. Um, I'll not think about. It. I'll give that sucker. I'll give it a nine. It just I like the theme, art, a little of everything. Gameplay is pretty. Gameplay is pretty good. And now that I think about it, there's only uh, really only three shots that you need to need to know how to make. So. Diner, it's like an offshoot of Taxi. The theme, boy, theme, sound, and voices are pretty good. Gameplay. Ah, uh, Doctor Who. Only played it once. It, it's kind of like Adam's Family. The whole, the theme is just lost on me. Doctor Who, Master of Time. I only played that, played it twice. And same thing over here, the whole the whole theme of it just goes over my head. Uh Doctor Dude. Another favorite of mine. Uh gameplay up a, a ball save on it would be a plus but not a requirement. Earthshaker. Uh Alright, what's the name? Whirlwind. Yeah, it's basically Whirlwind version 2.0, which I wasn't really good at, and again, it didn't... Nothing really... Nothing really uh, to write home about. Give that a 4. 8-Ball Deluxe. I only played it one time on Pinball Arcade. Um, I remember playing... I remember seeing this and playing it when I was a little kid, so there was big-time nostalgia there. And um, I think... I think the theme on it... I think the gameplay wasn't that difficult like big shot take down the drop targets and you have to hit the uh, eight ball somewhere else but like i said i only played it one time on pinball arcade so i don't remember much about it el dorado if there was ever a relaxing table for me this be it but it's got to be the original one and not el dorado city of gold is too noisy and yeah pretty much that's just too noisy gameplay there's a in this game here, it's I'll try to explain it, but uh, the, the goal is basically take down all the drop targets, and um, if you hit if you hit a lit one, it's more points. In the original El Dorado, there's like a little star rollover. Whatever you roll o roll over it, it moves the light. The light switches to another target. Um, City of Gold doesn't have that, so whatever whatever lit target there is, it's pretty much going to sit there for the entire game. Um, Elvira and the Party Monsters. Um, pretty good game. I rate that an 8, just for the simple fact that, uh, they're probably the least punishing ramps I've ever played on. If you can't get all the way up the ramp, it doesn't go straight down the middle and drains. It, like, usually it goes straight down towards, like, the base of one of the flippers. So you're not punished nearly as much. Um, at 14. Uh, debating between 7 and 8, but since I'm in a good mood, I'll give it an 8. Super fast gameplay. You get up in that uh, upper left hole, pew, shoots it right back down. Gives you a lot of speed to work with. Uh, as far as the overall theme and stuff, the no, you die, 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 I am not. I mean, just real noisy, noisy, annoying voices kind of detracts from it. So that would keep me from, hit, from hitting a nine. Another thing about the music's kind of an annoying, kind of annoying too. So I'll knock it down one. 
Ah, uh, Fathom, never played it. Fireball. It was the uh, first of the three useless kickbacks. Like uh, on this one here, it does. Uh, it starts turned off. You have to manually turning turn it on by hitting uh, all six of the uh, of the spot targets in front of you just to turn it on. And the moment uh, the moment it kicks in, it shuts off. Most other games, it stays on for several seconds afterwards. So it it's an infinity plus one feature. By the time it kicks in, your, your game's probably going to be over before then. Oh wait, I just did fireball. Uh, fireball. Um, uh, debating between seven and eight. I'll go ahead and give it an eight. The big spinning plate right in the middle. Plus, uh, it's the only game I can think of where, uh, you can move the flippers in. You can move the flippers in so the ball don't drain. Cool concept. Uh, firepower, firepower is the one that gets the three. Firepower two, I only played it once. Uh, better than the original Firepower, but again, this is only based on me playing it one time. Uh, Fishtails. I'll give it a five. Uh, I like the theme and everything. It's funny, the game's funny as hell, but it's marred by a, it's marred by pretty bad gameplay. I mean, it has a ball save, but I think it, I think it's like a 10 second ball save, but even, even that ain't enough to save it. Not the least of which, uh, the captive hole in the middle of the plate field is next to impossible to hit because there's two rubber bumpers right in front of it. You have to hit the captive ball dead on right in the middle. Not unlike some other games that don't have that. You can hit the captive ball from near, nearly anywhere, which makes that a lot more easy and enjoyable. Uh, Flight 2000. Little of everything. I just give it a four. Funhouse. Rudy makes it awesome, but... The, what's keeping me from hitting it, giving it a nine, is uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of shots you have to make that require going up that middle hallway, but uh, there's like this really Rube Goldberg method you have to do in order to get the best shot to get up in there. So, uh, Genie, Moon Physics, an interesting concept. Ah, uh, trying to. I'll give that one up. I'm in a good mood. I'll give it a four. Getaway high speed two. You can't really play that one uh, unless it's offline. It has a ZZ Top's uh, Lagrange song. I've I've tried playing this while actually streaming it, and I've exported it to YouTube, and the video got flagged for copyright, probably because of because of that song. So it's, I can't really give an opinion on that. I only played it maybe twice. Gladiators um, only played it twice. It's got potential, so I'll just give it a six, but uh, going nuts. Cool concept. I'll just give that a five. There's actually a poor, it, there's actually a big downside to it. It's a, it's a timer-based game. And it's based on the standard three and out. I think they need to go one or the other, but not both. So, I could have given it like a seven or an eight. Seven or eight, but that alone knocks it back down to five. Uh, Gorgar. I'll give that one a six. It, actually, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I think it's like the, might be the first ever satanic themed pinball but pinball machine. I'm not a devil worshiper or anything, but uh, if you look real closely, there's actually blood on the stone slab, which ooh, like they they, they kind of got graphic with it. Pretty ballsy move on on Williams' part. Uh, Harley Davidson, 3rd edition. I played this fairly often on the PS4 version. Good gameplay. Pretty good gameplay, actually, but it's the voice, it's almost like Monster Bash. The voices are just god awful. Haunted House. Uh, cool concept. Gameplay is alright. And then, um, it's got a really strong racquetball theme to it. Like some of the targets you hit push back. They're, I think they're, they're kickers, yeah. They kick back at you. 
So that, that can make that makes the game pretty fun. High roller casino. I'll give it a four. It, again, it's got some uh, fairly weak flippers and it's got a steep ramp right in the middle. Very hard to get all the way up on. High speed. Gameplay, not that great or mediocre. It's the music though, I love it. Plus some uh, pretty iconic voices too. Uh Hurricane. Kind of the same thing. It's a um, what is it? Cyclone Part Two. It, that's a pretty fun game right there. Gave it an eight. The I think what probably keeps it from keeps me from giving it a nine is the uh, there's a center shot that it's almost like victory, which I'll vote on later on. It's 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 practically magnetized in that area. No matter how early or late I flip the ball, it always seems to go up in that middle. Middle area with the bumpers, very annoying. Indy 500. I only played it twice, but from what I, from what I've seen of it, I'll give it a seven. Would have been an eight, but the announcers actually, strange as it might sound, actually gets annoying after a while. Uh, jackpot. Plays like Pinbot, but uh, yeah, again, seven or eight. I'm in a good mood. I'll give it an eight. It plays exactly like Pinbot, which the playing table I don't really care for. The only role, to me, the only role worthwhile shot other than the eye sockets is the left ramp. It's like uh, you might as well not even have a damn left flipper there because it doesn't, you can't really hit much with it except maybe the, the left hole or if you're skilled enough to do it, you can hit the left ramp from the left flipper, but that's about it. Uh, Jack's open. Only played it once, but... Um, I'll give it an 8. I just started thinking about it. It's kind of a cool concept. You just got to hit poker hands. You got to hit the right drop targets at the right time. Judge Dredd. Quick answer on that one. Just the, mu just the music alone. Um, whoever, um, I'd like to think that whoever did the voice, whoever did the voice of uh, Judge Dredd was the same one that, uh, it sounds almost like the same guy that did the voice on uh, Who Done It. The ride the train guy. Um, maybe the guy. Maybe the guy also did junkyard too. I might have to look into that, but uh, junkyard uh, gameplay. I'll give it an eight. Just that the angel's voice alone. I don't know who did it, but I'm listening to her. I I'm like oh, I'd listen to that all day. So eight. Last Action Hero. Artwork, uh, themed, props, and all that. Gameplay kind of detracts a bit, so I'll just give it a 7. Last Camera Action, like the artwork. Um, gameplay kind of kills it a bit. Uh, Machine, Bride of Ben Pot. Yeah, it's gonna be a very tough call. I'll just give that one a give that one a five. It's it's almost like my wild card machine right here. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Voices get annoying. Gameplay just as bad. Nothing totally god awful that would give me give it a three. I don't. I can't really see me ever playing a a table that is so wretched. As they, for me to warrant giving anything a one or a two. Uh, Medieval Madness. No question on that one. That was a take. I probably have um. I could probably have two to. I actually have two different ratings. This is my uh, classic all-time favorite. This is the one that I actually did physically play back when it first came out in the nineties. And loved it then. I love it now. So easy ten. Uh, Monster Bash. Gameplay, gameplay. It plays just like a. It's got a medieval madness theme to it. Or gameplay wise, it's like medieval madness. The only thing that I, the same with uh same thing with Harley Davidson. The voices are just just the voices are just wretched on them. It's like they just hired him off the street. La la. 
I just love that minty formaldehyde flavor. You don't understand. I'll change. It was, no, please. Uh, no fear of dangerous sports. Mechanically, I like it, but uh, I've only played this table a few times. Oh, it, I don't. I really need to take a second look at it, but I think uh, between all the ramps and loops and whatnot, it, I think they put a little rubber bumpers in between each and one, every one of them. It's like unnecessary, but like I said, I don't. It's unconfirmed, but it, when he, if I can't get up a loop, it just boom, 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 the ball just bounces around. It doesn't just. It doesn't just stop and then come back down or anything. It's very annoying. But like I said, the uh, the game, the the table layout's pretty awesome. The way they do it, it's just it, the way the bumpers in between is what keeps me from bringing it to an eight or an even a nine. No good gophers. Nine. I mean the voices. I mean. <laughs> The voices and comments are awesome, but uh, the gameplay itself, it's like you have um, the center ramp, it's like easy to hit, so it's like old reliable. And you, you know, if you're having trouble hitting anything else, you could always aim for that center ramp. So there's kind of a relaxation aspect to it too. Paragon, never played it, Party Zone. Um, I'll give it a five. Nothing, nothing that really stood out. Theme is just eh. Gameplay decent. Uh, Phantom of the Opera. Like the voices, but again, not not nothing nothing specific. It just I don't care for the table that much. Uh, Pinbot. Love the revolutionary theme, but gameplay, it's like I said earlier, it's almost like you, you might as well just get rid of that left flipper. It's almost useless. It's like you do most of my scoring from the right flipper, mainly going up the left ramp and the drop targets. Red and Dead's Roadshow. Slightly above average. They took the uh, Funhouse concept and like added, added two heads and more voices and whatnot. So that made it kind of cooler, but gameplay... Gameplay, it just... It's like they try to do a little of everything, which resulted in a half-assed effort for overall. Uh, Rescue 911, don't... I probably would have given it a 5 or a 6. But, you know, the whole theme of Rescue 911... Hi, I'm trapped, you know, help me, I'm trapped, you know, I'm trapped in a car a raging wildfire all around me, and I have kids with me. Which kind of, which... One with, which would uh, the next question would be? So what happens if the ball drains? They never say. So the conclusion I came to is, uh, fire surrounds them, the car blows up, and they all die. I mean, not really the kind of concept you want to put on a pinball machine. So Ripley's believe it or not, I this is going to be a three. I used to play this table a lot back when I had it on the PS4. Uh, some point I cried uncle the, the damn thing just drags um mainly because if you if say you how can I put this even even when you manage to go up a ramp you got to sit there and watch the ball slowly calm down ramp and onto the flipper go up the right ramp it just blows over and slowly goes across the table into the left flipper or get it off the ramp and it just floats over it. And now that I think about it, it's got the genie curve. It's basically plays like genie. That's that's what the drawback is. It, it's too slow and drags out. The same issue I had with genie. I mean, you miss, you miss, you know, you you hit a shot and the ball just floats on down. You know, I'd I'd almost prefer it to be punished immediately for missing a ramp than to have to miss a shot on Ripley's or Genie and just watch the ball float around. Uh, save Cracker. Kind of like the voices on it, but it, I'm still going to have to give it a 4. Scared Stiff. What was 
hell am I doing? Give that sucker a 10. This, like Medieval Madness, this is another table that I enjoyed playing back in the 90s when it first came out. Um, and I think out of all the tables I've ever played, this is the table that I've lasted the longest on. I think I played about an hour, and that was a few days ago. Uh, Space Shuttle. I remember seeing this when I was a kid. I tried playing it when I was a kid. Uh, played it on the PS2. Pretty much owned that game. Uh, played it on the PS4 and on the PS... On the PC. I don't know what they did. I don't know what they did on the PS4 and the PC that was different on the PS2. But I... It, gameplay concept is there. Um, I'll just give it an 8. At least in theory. In practice, I don't know what happened. Starship Troopers. Just the damn table. I Gameplay, I don't... I don't even consider the gameplay. In fact, I'll do that. I can't stand that freaking table. I don't. In a word, everything. Not the least of which is that damn asymmetrical red flipper that's over there. It, that's probably the big one that ruins it. Star Trek Next Generation. I don't really want to say a three. Four, since I'm a nice guy. I think it has a ball save, but even the ball save ain't going to help it. Swords of Fury played it one time. Love the theme. And the game actually looks kind of playable. I'm not forced to for a player, in fact. It's what I think what keeps it from becoming a 9 is it's still in its trial phase. I only played it one time, but it's kind of a medieval D&D &D RPG kind of guy myself. It's, I freaking like it. It's Now that I think about it, it's almost the... Um, the OG Medieval Madness. Tales of the Arabian Nights. Um, I like the overall theme, gameplay. Good, but not great. I'll give it a 7. Taxi. If only for the nostalgia factor. This is another game. I played it back when I was a teenager. I'll give it a 6, but... Uh, not a thing, but I'll give it a 7. This is another... It's another game that game that really needed a ball save, but doesn't give you one. Because a lot of times the because it, it's the table is almost like facing a pitcher, a baseball pitcher. Sometimes when the ball comes down a ramp, you either get a fastball or a changeup. You know, sometimes you'll get a it'll come smoothly down, the, you know, come smoothly down the ramp, smoothly down the flipper. You know, get your timing perfectly. Sometimes it goes quickly up the quickly up the ramp. Up one of the ramps and around, and then goes nice and slow down the flipper. Sometimes it goes slow up the ramp, up the ramp, and all of a sudden <laughs> flies down the flipper. And, oh, what happened? Yeah. So that's one that really needs a ball save, teed off. I'll give it an eight, uh, mainly for nostalgia factor. That's another old school table I used to play that's, that I sucked at. But uh, mainly the uh, the golfer is probably one of those one of these that really makes the game. Otherwise, the it, gameplay itself, eh. Uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Given that a 3. Same issue I had playing it when I was a kid. This is another one I used to play back when I uh, Back in my teenage years. No, back in my 20s, back in the 90s when it first came out. Um, same. I had the same issue then that I do with it now. Ramps are hard as hell to get to. Loops are hard as hell to get to, and the flippers are fairly weak. So you have a hard time getting to any of them. Like, like they need to, they need to make the table not so damn steep. Theater of Magic. Given that an eight, if only because it's one of very few tables that I'm actually consistent with. Like a lot of these other tables. I mean, I got a fair amount of. I mean. The vast majority of those tables last only a few minutes. But, you know, you get that one really good game or, you know, you get that one game of, whoa, I, I'm, I'm really on to something here on this table. Yeah, you know. But Theater and Magic is one table where I always do consistent with. I always do decent on. Uh, Twilight Zone. See Adam's Family, the whole... And also see Creature of the Black Lagoon and... It makes more sense on a table like the Twilight Zone. Like, uh, it just... 
the whole table looks like a clusterfuck, just real total messed up. It makes more sense on the Twilight Zone, though, you know, than it does on Creature of the Black Lagoon. TX Sector, no question. Quickly. Note the quick response time. That is my other, uh, that is my post pinball arcade all time favorite. Medieval Madness being my pre pre pinball arcade, so. Music. I mean, music, sound effects, voices. Uh, it's like a precursor to Portal. Precursor to Portal with uh, GLaDOS voice. Um, gameplay. Probably, a, gameplay is probably an acquired taste. But uh, once you figure it out, it's not awesome, like Central Park. But it's pretty up there. Uh, Victory, like the concept. Victory, like the concept of um, basically the whole game is just a series of hurry-ups you have to make. It's designed to be fast. I like the concept, but as far as gameplay, translation, it, it's another one that kind of needed a ball save. Actually, no, I take that back. I don't know. I'm not even sure a ball save would even save it, so I probably uh, marred my bad table design. Could have been better, but then again, I don't. I couldn't give you a better answer. Uh, I guess uh, one thing that would have helped, same problem I had with Hurricane. Victory, in the upper left corner, there's a loop. It goes out, loop into a hole. No matter how hard I try, even when I try getting something on the right side, it ends up going up in the upper left anyway. But enough of that whirlwind. Excuse me. It's, it was an original concept when I first played this. Back in the 80s, I think it was. Somewhere in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, I think. Didn't care for it then. Didn't really care for it now. I'll, I'll give it a 5 just because it was pretty original back then. Whitewater. Again, I... The whole layout and everything just didn't really sit well with me. Like, I'll, I'll give it a 5. And now that I think about it, I kind of like the music on it. Just the whole White Water Rapids thing, outdoorsy, despite the fact that I'm an indoorsy guy. Who done it? Gave that one an eight. Gameplay is mediocre. Uh, the theme is mediocre. Just on the um, just on the voice, just on whoever did his voice. That I'm on the train guy. I don't know who they got doing it, but he was underpaid. Oh my god. Uh, Wipeout. Only played one time. Couldn't really draw a conclusion from it. I'll give it a five. World Champion Soccer three. I mean, like the, like the main music. You know that. I like that, but everything else. It's got. It's. It's a piss poor design, is what I think it is. I know. Um. I one of the one of the first time I tried playing it. I, twice in one game, goes up the left out, the left in lane. Goes down the left out lane and the ball drains. Um, played it. Uh, played it last night. I think it was a loop or a ramp. Can't remember which one. It goes up and around. Something over here, probably a little, a little buggy bumper right by the, uh, by the exit. It deflects off of that straight into the left out lane. You never see it coming. So, that given that one a three just on that alone. Zenon. Or I'm giving that a nine. Love everything about the table. It's hard, but in a good way. Um, not to mention, I, I like the sounds, voices, and everything. But it's it keeps one thing that keeps it from becoming a ten is it's all repetitious. I mean, I get it's an '80s game, but I so I couldn't really think of anything else to make it better. But well, that's that's the survey. Um, let me submit and see what I got. Guess I'm going to have to delete these. Now you get to see all my bookmarks. There we go. Oh, cool. Oh, 
I wonder what they're um, ordering this based on then. Well, medieval mad medieval madness seems to be number one. Man, I'm looking at this right now. It's like the uh, it's almost like they kept the survey straight off of Pinside because it doesn't look much different from uh, what the ratings are on Pinside. Mine was ten. Everyone else is the average. Attack from Mars five. I guess I got totally different tastes than everybody else. So. Monster Bash, same thing. Everybody else loved it. Even more strangers, uh, this is uh, the Pinball Arcade Forum, so this is coming from people that actually play the PC game, or play the, they don't play the real physical tables of this. Theater of Magic, so I guess we were in kind of league with that. Twilight Zone, same thing. So yeah, this is a, uh, 784 people that are going to say, How dare you? Adam's family, same thing. 402 people that are going to see this and go, How dare you rate it so lowly? Gave it a four, everybody else. And yeah, same thing here. They're all going to hate me because of this. Uh, it's slightly lower than theirs, so. Whitewater. Kind of the same thing. Oh my god, everyone's gonna hate me for this. Terminator 2, gave it a 3. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna make me public enemy number one if everybody saw this. Oh, 752 people are gonna hate me. Or, only a little bit. They're gonna hate me on this one. Uh, not a whole lot of people rated this one. Six, seven, and a half. So we're, uh, we're more or less alike. More or less alike on this, but not many people rated this one. No good gophers. Yeah, I liked it. Not many. Uh, 738 people are probably going to go, eh, whatever. Fish tails. 562 people are going to go, You're not an outdoorsy person, are you? <laughs> oh, I think I know why. 8 Ball Deluxe, I think, came out only recently. Um, no. I know, uh, I don't know. I'm guessing, uh, there's no, uh, 12, 14, or 15 because, okay, there's 563 people. Yeah, I don't, I don't get this. No numbers by these. Fun up. Wait, world champion soccer. Everybody seemed to love it. I couldn't stand it. Just a few, uh, a few design flaws on the table. Uh, fun house. Yeah, we're about the same on that. Um, this is, this is here with an inconclusive rating. The only reason I can think of is uh, they must not mind having uh, ads on their YouTube videos. If if they exported their videos to YouTube or whatever, you get the idea. Hey, here's one we all agree on. Hey, here's another one in here too. Cirque Voltaire. Yeah, it... 768 people are going to go, really? Four hundred and forty eight people are gonna go. Well, eh, that's cool. <sighs> Ripley's mm, I'd have to explain to the seven hundred and seventy five people that the table is too damn slow for me. It's the same as it plays almost like a genie does. It's, it drags on. I just as soon as play a, a fast table like F fourteen that <clears throat> ball goes around super fast and all of a sudden phew, goes in the outlay and you never you're like, Whoa? Then have to play something like this. Indy 500. Hey, we all agree on this. Ah, uh, scared stiff. I'm probably all going to say I'm just, 770 people are probably going to think I'm some dirty old man that likes looking at a scantily clad women. You pervert, you. 
creature from the Black Lagoon, yeah. 768 people are going to be scratching their heads when they see by a rating of three. It's like, well, well, you know, maybe they had a, <clears throat> had like a 10, sec 10 to 15 second ball save, but a multi-ball ball save that lasted about that same amount of time. Maybe I'd actually get into it more. It's like I'm playing on a, it's like playing on it's like I'm playing on a damn Rube Goldberg table or something. Doctor Who? Evidence is inconclusive on this. I think I'm 119 people probably like it just because Doctor Who. Whereas that that was a show I never watched, so except maybe a little tiny bit of one episode, like a bunch of starry looking or bunch of humanoid Things composed of little stars walking around. It was, I was a kid when I saw it, but I don't... Like I said, it just went over my head. Oh, Junkyard, we're almost in agreement on that. Uh, Cactus Canyon. Uh, slight disagreement. 752 people are going to go, eh, that's cool. Whirlwind, probably the same thing. It just it was something I never got into. We're about the same on that. Fathom, yeah, only six people. I've never, I haven't played it yet. I play random tables, so maybe I'll get there one day. Same with the uh, Paragon. Nope. Guess we're in agreement on that. <clears throat> um, two hundred fifty. 200, there's going to be 254 people like, really? It was a timer-based game, man. I thought it was awesome. Well, it said 45 seconds, but really, it only lasted maybe... It really... I have to look at that. I want to say 30 seconds. It sure seems like it. I'd have to look at the actual time conversion, but it ain't no... It ain't no 45 seconds. I mean, I, I'd be... My games would be lasting longer if, it, if that were the case. Uh, Diner... Well, we're kind of in agreement on that. Judge Dredd. One hundred ninety-eight people. What'd you like that table for? One year for flatulism. You ever actually listen to the voices and what they say? See, well, apparently they don't. Firepower two. Looks like we're in agreement on that, even though not many people have played it. 554 people. You like that game? Yeah, I'll call it a quirk. I tend to like the games nobody else does. Yeah, we're in slight disagreement, so these guys would be, oh, that's cool. It's one of those that, uh, it's almost like Central Park, except, uh, more extreme. Like, um, in the, in the sense that, um, you're not really, the game doesn't really start till you get into the Billionaires Club. Until then, you're saddled with RNG. You may never, ever get there. I've had that happen before, like, <clears throat> I mean, I've gotten in the, I mean, I've, I got the top score on my, on my, on, on my game. But uh, that was because I actually entered the Billionaires Club, and uh, it took me maybe around 10 minutes to get there. But uh, I played uh, upwards of 15 minutes without even entering it, and uh, I don't, my score is like maybe at best third place, third, fourth, and fifth. So it it needed to be uh, maybe the uh, your first billionaires club is guaranteed. Thereafter, the big wheel is uh, random. But uh, that was my thing with it. I had a little casino. You know. <clears throat> They'd probably oh really oh wow oh, I like that game. Earthshaker, same thing. <clears throat> you know, they brought 333 people be like, oh, whatever. Uh, Sword of Fury. <clears throat> I don't, I'm guessing not many, not many people probably realize that this is the game that came before, uh, was a precursor to Medieval Madness. It's basically Medieval Madness without a sense of humor. High speed. Uh, probably a slight disagreement. Uh, Pinbot. Yeah, we're almost in agreement on that. Those two. Championship Pub. 
Yeah, if they, if they tune the outlands to where it doesn't drain so damn much, maybe my rating would be higher. So, so that'd be... Apparently, uh, 721 people have uh, great outlands and the ball seldom drains off, drains through them. So, I must be one of the unlucky ones. Hurricane. Uh, slight disagreement, nothing biggie. Looks like we all agree on Centaur. Slight disagreement on the um, Elvira and the Party Monsters, but like I said earlier, it's got probably the least punishing ramps I've ever seen on a table. I don't, I don't recall the ball ever draining from me not being able to go all the way up one of them. That helps a lot. Some people must not mind the, the constant, no, or when your ball goes off the ramp. Uh, F-14 Tomcat, uh, well, it looks like we're almost in agreement on that. Space Shuttle, oh wow. I actually had a better opinion of that table than on most of these other people. Like I said, I love, I love the idea, it's just, I mean, gameplay-wise, it's great. Artwork, good, but not great, but it, I don't know what the hell they did to the PS4 and PS version, or the PC version of it. But on the P PS2 version, I did great on it. But I don't... Something got lost in translation there. Flight 2000. This is one of those 686 people. Well, why did you like that table? Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, okay, I'm... Okay, my throat's horse cut getting hoarse right now. It's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt when swallowing, so I'm going to have to go ahead and cut it off here. I think I talk more on this game than I ever... I, mean, I think I talk more on this video than I did in any other video. Oh, good God. Yeah, I'm going to have to shut it down. I'm um, sorry about that. Uh, well, if I see you... Um, until next time, take care.